In this video, we're going to talk a little on how a pH meter works, and for this I need to spill some chemistry mumbo jumbo in order for you to understand, so please bear with me on this. At the most tiniest of measures, in pure water, two molecules of H2O can react with each other and produce H3O and OH. The two products that result from this reaction are the basis of what an acid and a base are. Which by Arrhenius' definition, an acid is a substance that when dissolved produces hydrogen and hydronium ions, whichever one is correct. While a base, on the other hand, produces hydroxyl ions. Now, since water is a neutral substance, it can produce a really tiny amount of these ions. This is the reason for needing an equilibrium. Now, ignore the math, just focus on me and you'll be fine. This equation shows us that the concentrations of hydrogen and hydroxyl ions in a balanced state are 10 to the negative 7 molar, which means that one of the two ions has a higher concentration. This can cause the solution to become acidic or basic depending on which of the two has achieved the higher concentration. If it was the hydrogen concentration, boom, acidic solution, and vice versa. Because of how tiny these concentrations can be, another equation was made to sum up the data into a scale from 0 to 14, where 7 is a neutral solution, meaning it isn't either acidic or basic. From that number, anything below 7 results in an acid, and anything above, a base. This little scale is known as the pH scale, which is the potential of hydrogens on a solution. That's what this baby measures. This measurement is done by the electrode, which nowadays is combined by two other electrodes. The glass electrode, which is sensitive to the hydrogen ions, and the reference electrode, which functions as a sensor that supplies the reference signal or potential for the first one. This little guy sends the data to the pH meter by a cable and displays it on the LCD screen. But before measuring the pH of a solution, you need to measure the buffers, which are used to calibrate the meter. They are solutions that have a really stable pH and are separated into three different pH values, 4, 7, and 10, base, neutral, and an acid. After doing so, you can measure all the solutions you want, as long as you don't turn off the meter, in which case, you'll need to calibrate it again.